in this video, I'm going to explain how I process my images for retouching in Capture One Pro for Photoshop. Every photo shoot is going to be different with how much work you actually do in the raw process and how much you do in Photoshop. For this job, I wanted to do as much as possible because once the images go out for retouching, I only want the retoucher and myself to focus on doing skin and clothing cleanup. That's it. Color is very subjective. What one person finds pleasing, someone else will absolutely hate. There also is a difference between color grading and raw processing to a neutral state. What I'm doing here, because these are commercial e-commerce images that are going to live on a client's site, I just want to get these files to a very neutral, natural looking state, which is very pleasing. So when I come into Capture One, the first thing I'm going to do is crop the image. And you're probably thinking if I'm in a studio, why am I crop not a ceiling fan? And the answer to that is I am not in the studio. I'm in my client's living room because COVID happened and we could not use our location. So if you want to hear more about that, I'll actually leave a link to the blog post in this video's description. So now that I have these images cropped, I then would start from this tab right here, the color tab. And Capture One is actually laid out in a very intuitive manner because they put these icons in this order to kind of give you a suggestion of what things you should do first to an image. I always start with base characteristics and ICC profiles. Now, why would I choose a different ICC profile if this is the recommended one for my camera? The answer to that is every ICC profile is going to give you a different color rendition. I've only been shooting Sony for two years. Before that, I shot Canon and I also shoot phase one. And I tend to like on certain images, those colors more pleasing. And I would push the Sony file to that point naturally anyway. But if I can select one of these profiles and it gets me there faster with less work, I'm going to do that. And the profile I used for this image, I have a phase one P65. I use flash V2. So I'm going to duplicate this image. And pull up one with the regular Sony profile and pull up. So. This is the Sony profile and this is nothing. So let me fix this. <laughs> so we go phase one, P65. Okay, now that's changed. So this is the Sony profile and this is the phase one profile. And if you look just at the skin right here, even in her legs, the phase one profile reads the skin tones more orange whereas though the sony is more red and i would like i said i would have switched this anyway uh, by shifting the hue but if i can just save that extra step i am and this is all personal preference some people will say the phase one profile doesn't look good others will say the sony one looks amazing it's all up to you it's all subjective so i'm going to delete this image so now that i got that sorted out I would then go to exposure, kind of just, you know, pull the exposure down a bit. And because this is supposed to be a white backdrop, I just want to get a color readout of what's going on here. So I put two points, kind of one where the light's falling from because it's a little bit brighter and then one just a little bit more in the shadow. And if I look at these RGB readouts, the background is coming up a little bit more blue. So I will come down to my curve, select the blue curve. And if you pull up on the curve, you add more blue. If you pull down, you add more yellow, which is the opposite of blue. So this falls, we can look at the curve and see where my cursor falls at. And I don't really have a point there. So I'm just going to come down and drag this point up to that particular spot. I'm going to select it, 
looking at the RGB readouts, I'm going to pull down on the curve and you can see that it's taking away blue from the image. Now, I don't want this to be perfect because at some point it will start to affect her dress, skin tones and other things in the image. But for me right now, that's perfect. And I'll just do a before and after so you can kind of see that effect. That, that makes a big difference to me. So now this is complete with the exception of her um, legs don't match her arms and her face. But I'm going to come back to that. I want to copy these settings and then select my other images and paste them. This one needs a little bit more of an exposure adjustment. Say about right there. And these images are family and they look good. So next that the basic adjustments are complete, I will start doing more localized adjustments on the files. The localized adjustments on these files that we need, um, her arms and face are a different color than her legs. And then also this clothing company in particular makes fashionable items in Carolina blue for women to wear to football games in North and uh, North Carolina sporting events, alumni events, all types of things in that Carolina blue color. So this jacket is not Carolina blue. And to fix this jacket, I'm going to come to the color editor tool, grab the picker, select the jacket, show selected color range, make sure that includes all of the jacket, which it does. And then I'm going to come up top and create layer mask from selection. So now when I look at this uh, layer adjustment layer, it's only affecting the jacket. So if I pull down the exposure, you see only the jacket changes. I can add contrast to the jacket, all types of things like that. So now I'm going to pull up the target file, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to grab the tabs. First, I'm going to pull down some exposure. And I'm just going to play with these just to match it up to the Carolina blue. And for this example, that's that's close enough. So let's pull these all up. Look at them. We have the blue matched up. So now the last thing we need to address is her arms matching her legs. I'll select that image. I'll create a new adjustment layer, grab my brush and just brush over her legs. I'm sorry, let's invert that mask first. Brush on her legs. So now I will come down to my color, color editor tool, get my color picker, select her legs. And I would use the hue slider just to shift the hue a bit to match that up. And I don't know if that's perfect. I'm, I'm on the laptop, not on my color calibrated screen. So it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but let's just say that match as well. I can't tell if it does or if it doesn't, but yeah, that's good. So now these images are complete. They are ready to be exported and sent over to Photoshop for retouching. And when these files come back, I don't have to do anything to them. I don't have to do any more exposure, color adjustments. We're just going to take them over there, work on the skin and the clothing and get those right back over in the capture one to then export how the client wants. So let me know in the comments below, do you do a lot of processing in capture one or do you do a little bit? Everybody's different. I love to hear what you guys do. Talk to you in the next one.